The first word presented by Dr. Pepper as the Cowboys get back on track. 38 to 3, the final score from AT&T Stadium. The Cowboys hand Bill Belichick his biggest point differential loss in his entire coaching career as the Cowboys take care of business in week four of the NFL season and improve to three and one. We're here with Barry Church, Isaiah Stanback, Nate Newton. I'm Kyle Yeomans. Gentlemen, this is a much happier first word <laughs> presented by Dr. Pepper <laughs> than it was last week at the same time, mostly because it, the Cowboys got back to complimentary football. A couple mm -hmm. takeaways from the defense, a couple takeaways that turned into touchdowns for the defense. The offense took care of the ball, won the time of possession battle, and ultimately won the football game. Barry, I'll start with you. What stuck out to you the most? Well, offensively, I got to go to with uh, number four, Dak Prescott out there. I think he played a heck of a game out there. We talk about efficiency. I think it was 28 of 34, 200 and some yards out there. And what impressed me the most about Dak Prescott is he didn't force anything. He took what the defense gave him. If that shot wasn't there um, deep, up, deep down the field, he was checking it down to his tight ends, checking it down to his running backs, letting them do what they do best, and that's create plays. So Dak Prescott, you played a heck of a game. Then you go to the defensive side of the football, they got back to their old ways. See, they got back to their ways from week one to week two, which is pressuring the quarterback and forcing takeaways. My man, Deron Bland, you had yourself a heck of a game on the outside. Two interceptions, one taking it all the way back to the house. He played outstanding. The D-line was rushing and, and basically harassing um, Mac Jones the entire game out there. So hats goes off to both sides of the field. Special teams, you did your thing as well. Overall, it was a great, complete game. Yeah, Barry just hit on it. It was definitely a complete game. These guys did a great job. I'm going to go ahead and highlight Mr. Deron Bland, just like you just did. Uh, Deron Bland played his, played his butt off. I think last week, uh, from our perspective, he didn't have his best game. Coach McCarthy felt differently, but obviously he felt differently <laughs> for good reason because as bad as Mac Jones was, okay, Mac Jones was ter not not just terrible. He was he was terrible, oh, okay, <laughs> terrible. Or like I say in the hood, terrible, okay. He was real bad, <laughs> all right. But but you take advantage of that. It doesn't matter if you want to be late on releasing the ball and you you have an opportunity to read the routes the way that they're coming at you and take advantage of a bad quarterback. You go out there and make the plays. He got he had a couple close calls. He almost had a couple picks. But after that, when it came back his way, he made sure that Mac Jones paid for it. They got back to being who they were. Only 53 yards rushing versus, versus last week of 222. Only, uh, f uh, what, 32 yards in penalties versus 107 with 13 mm. last uh, last week. They just got back to being who they were. Dak, he found his uh, his throws, like you said, Barry. He, mm. he made some nice throws. Uh, we stayed with the run game. We had 30 carries for 124 yards. The Cowboys got back to what we was used to the first two weeks. And I, want, I don't want to say that, you know, Last week was a, a out of kilter game, but it's just that's what it seems to be. At least at the moment, and we'll find out certainly a lot more going into this week. Oh, yes, you got we San do. Francisco; they won today too. They're four and zero. The Cowboys, thinking they probably should have been four and zero going into that Sunday night football matchup. But I want to go back to something that Isaiah you pointed out there: is the Cowboys got after Mac Jones, and Mac Jones did not have a great game. 12 of 21, 150 yards, terrible, as you were saying a second ago. I, I'm not as good as saying about it. Yeah, I'm, I'm good on that one. The, I think for the most part, I think for the most part, Dallas just did what they needed to do defensively mm -hmm. to get him out of the game plan. It's almost what Bill Belichick wanted to do to Dallas. Take away what they do best. Dallas did that to New England. Yeah, they moved Mac Jones off the mark, and I think that was the biggest thing. I think the times that you saw him actually sit in the pocket comfortable, he was actually able to deliver some good balls down the field. But the moment you were able to move him off his mark. Now, all of a sudden, he becomes an inaccurate passer. And we talked about that in the pregame show. This is a guy that will give the ball up to you if you make him uncomfortable. And boy, was he uncomfortable. Yeah, you saw him, man. He was frustrated out there. He was frustrated pretty much all afternoon. I think he was holding the ball just a little bit too long, trying to make that big, explosive play, trying to reach the ball down the field when all he should have did was check it down to his boys in the backfield. He didn't do that. The Cowboys were able to take advantage of him. Deron Bland to the house, man. You know, I've never seen a guy and I hate to say this about a player who seemed to be smiling when they handed the reins over to mm -hmm. the other guy. It seemed like it was a look of relief on his face. I mean, and I guess, you know, you guys have said it. Until you face that type of pressure, you just don't know what it's like. And that day that kid got the chance to feel what this defense can bring to him. And right before we, we get out of here, we're, I want you to kind of tell me one more thing about the offense. I mean, the way that they were able to run the ball and run it effectively with multiple backs out of the backfield, did that make you feel better based off of what you saw last week? Oh, definitely with the line being, you know, with the center being back, be Oddish and Zach Martin. Zach Martin is that glue, man, mm -hmm. that makes everybody feel good. And like we talked about earlier in the pregame, is they, they started throwing that ball out into the flats, getting our running backs going. And once they, they spread them out, that took them guys out of their, out of their normal rhythm. So we were able to 
run up the middle on them. And yeah. when we can run up the middle on anybody, we got out to the outside as the game went on. Nice game. We saw Coach McCarthy get back to being Oprah. And what I mean by that is he let everybody get, get the everybody. ball in the backfield, okay? <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right, everybody got it. I mean, from Hunter Lipke, K. Kevontae Turpin had a 46-yard run. T.P. Dowdle was in there briefly before he got banged up. Um, everybody was able to touch the ball in the backfield, and that's what we saw the first few weeks when you saw those personnel changes. Formation stay the same. Personnel's change up, confuses the defense. You have the result in big plays. Yeah, quickly, I just wanted to give a shout-out to Tolbert out there because this is a guy who his rookie season, you know, a lot of people were, uh, were down on him, including myself. This guy had a great offseason, great training camp and now you see it kind of going into fruition onto the into the football field during the season four catches 53 yards he's stepping up in a good way yeah stepping up and really there were multiple players along the way that were all involved in this Cowboys win 38 to 3 week four is done we've got more post game coverage on the way but week five is only just beginning watch party presented by 7-eleven out at AT&T Stadium come out to the Miller Lighthouse on October 8th for a free watch party it's a cheer on the Cowboys alongside Cowboys cheerleaders, Rowdy, and enjoying $5 Miller Lights barbecue and a game day fanfare and a whole lot more. Gates open at 6 p.m. Kickoff is at 7.20 for more info. And to claim your free ticket, you, you can go online and visit DallasCowboys.com slash watch party. The Cowboys get the win in week four. They're three and one on the 2023 season. We still have Cowboys game night, Cowboys OT, Coming your way in just a matter of moments. 38 to 3, the final over the New England Patriots. That does it for the first word presented by Dr. Pepper.